On April 16, 2024, representatives from Merrimack attended the Senate Transportation Meeting regarding an amendment to House Bill 2024. This bill, which relates to the 10-year transportation improvement plan, was previously discussed by the Town Council on March 14th, March 28th, and April 11th of 2024. The amendment, proposed by New Hampshire's Highway Committee, aims to reclassify 2.4 miles of Continental Boulevard, a Class 2 highway built, owned, and maintained by the state of New Hampshire, to a Class 5 road. This change would transfer ownership and maintenance responsibilities to the town of Merrimack. Director of Public Works Don Twamala presented the financial impact this would have during the March 14th, 2024 town council meeting. When you add those two figures together, the annual, every what it's going to take us every year, plus what we have to put into the capital improvements plan, we're talking five hundred and basically $11,000. Everybody says we're taking back the road. We never had that road. We are not taking it back. During the March 28th town council meeting, council member Nancy Murphy reported that some of the New Hampshire Highway Committee members she spoke with were not aware of Continental Boulevard's history. I met individually with several members of the, uh, the, the uh, Public Works and Highways Committee, and none of them were aware that Merrimack never owned um, that, that road. State Representative Rosemary Rung expressed the need for the Senate to know the facts and history of the road before the hearing. If we can get out ahead of that Senate hearing to make sure that the facts are presented and they're in a, in a way that is, I know it's not going to be concise, but in a way that makes it easy for people to see what the facts and the history are. Moving on to the Senate Transportation meeting on April 16th, testimonies concerning Continental Boulevard began with State Representative Tim McGue, who spoke in opposition of the amendment. Keep, keep the end of the state's bargain and maintain this road. Don't reclassify it. Take it out of the state highway plan do the right thing for the people. Town manager Paul McCallie, also in opposition, shared his concerns with the amendment. A major concern relates to the cost estimated to pave this section of Continental Boulevard in 2025. State DOT estimates is $1.85 million, which would be more than the entire paving budget of the town of Merrimack for a year. Representative Janine Nodder comparing the amendment to a punishment. So now that the tolls are gone, it just feels like like we're being punished. Maureen Mooney concluded the testimonies given by Merrimack representatives, calling for the state of New Hampshire to take full responsibility of Continental Boulevard. Continental Boulevard is a state road. No matter what you do to it, you can't dis disguise that fact. And the state should take full responsibility, as they are now, of maintaining it and the costs associated therein. Commissioner of the NHDOT Bill Cass and Director of Project Development Bill Oldenburg responded to the testimonies given, saying that the department views Continental Boulevard to be superfluous to the turnpike system. Uh, we still believe it is relatively superfluous to the to to the to the turnpike system, raising the question again of of what the best disposition of Continental Boulevard should 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 be, given given that uh, there isn't. Um, the direct support that there once was with the tolls. Denise Ricciardi, chair of the Senate Transportation Committee, stating the consensus was to keep Continental Boulevard as a state road. I have spoken, you know, at length with the people of Merrimack and with uh, our Senate president and leadership, and the consensus is that we want to keep that Continental Boulevard um, as a state-owned road. Mm -hmm. For more Merrimack in Motion, download the Merrimack TV app. Thank you for watching.